Okay, so check it out. I get it. Everybody wants that great slap tone or slap sound, but there's a few things that you could be doing wrong. So I want to talk about why your slap may sound like crap. Your slap sounds like crap. Your slap sounds like crap. So three main things you want to consider. Well, that's six. So three main things you want to consider when you're talking about getting a good slap tone or just being able to slap period in general. So first thing is first, the strings that you use. Okay, everybody wants that great poppy snappy sound when you're slapping, but you have dead strings. So you can't really achieve that sound. So if you've seen a little bit before this video, I changed my strings in order to have a good slap tone by default. It gives it a snappier sound, just the fresh strings. Personally, I like to use stainless steel strings. It gives it that high end that you need to really have that pop action. So something as simple as changing your strings, you want to start there to get a decent or better slap tone. And when your strings are dead or old or have built up a lot of dirt, you're not going to get that snappy response or that high end that you would need or that natural treble that you would need uh, to create that good slap tone. So number two, and it's a big one, is how to EQ your bass. So knowing how to EQ your bass for a good slap tone is very, very crucial to know. Know what knobs do what. And I know the process or the EQ range can be different for some basses or for most basses, but generally you should know what your knobs do in order to achieve that sound. So I wanna show you some examples using my bass, of course, of different EQ settings that you can use to get a good slap tone or a bad slap tone because it takes the finest little adjustment to make a bad slap tone. So I wanna show you the difference between the two. So right now on my bass, I have an active bass, obviously. <laughs> I have all of these knobs. A lot of people ask me about what all of these knobs are for, but it's just an active EQ uh, preamp and setting here. So you have volume, you have blend. I've talked about this before. You have the blend between the two pickups. You have the treble here and you have the mids here and the lows here, the bass, okay? So I have pretty much a decent control over my EQ settings on my bass. And you wanna take care of that first before you look at the amp, but that's a whole nother discussion. But anyway, so if I were to play that's with everything pretty much flat okay so now let's switch the bass let's switch the eq on a bass and this is a pretty that's a nice decent bass uh but it can also sound very bad if you don't know what you're doing right so it doesn't matter what kind of bass you have i can do this do that do this That sounds absolutely terrible. Like my ears are like, you know how you run your fingers across the chalkboard? That's what it sounds like to me. Very, very bad slap tone. No low end, no bass, no mids, no nothing, all treble. Just, it's just all the way up, it's just hiked up, right? So I have, <laughs> I have the knobs, the blend all the way to the bridge pickup. I have the mids or the treble all the way up. I have the mids all the way down and I have my bass all the way down. So, you know, just a few adjustments can make it sound not even like the same bass. Okay, so you have to have some general knowledge on what you're doing with the EQ, like I said before. So just something as simple of knowing your bass, knowing what it does. And I recommend that you guys just experiment with whatever bass you have. Just turn that knob, turn this knob, turn that knob, see what it does. You know, so for a good slap tone, I wanted to mention too, for a good slap tone, the natural treble is where that comes from, that pop, that snap, that's where you get that from. So sometimes people think just boosting the treble is gonna make a great slap tone, but not necessarily, that's not necessarily the truth. My slap tone or my EQ where it is now, my treble is at zero, set at zero, it's halfway. I have a halfway marker here. But if I bring it all the way back, it doesn't have that much life or as much life in it or that much presence. But if I bring the treble back up maybe halfway, start to get that snap back, right? But if I bring it up too much, yeah, it sounds a little too much. It sounds a little bit tingy, right? So you don't want it too much. So you wanna find those sweet spots between these EQ settings. And this is a, number two is a long one, but the EQ is very, very important that you know. And if you guys are interested in learning about more EQ, you can actually check that lesson out. I'll, probably, I'll try to put it up in the cards or in the description somewhere where I talk about EQ settings, right? So. That's if you're interested. So that's the second reason your slap may sound like crap. And that actually did sound like crap if it's not EQ'd right. Okay, people, here we go. Last but not least, number three, your technique may be terrible. So you may be slapping, right?
right? Sounded okay, but I was hitting a few more notes than I should have just because my technique was wrong, right? I wouldn't say wrong, but not necessarily preferred, okay? So the way that I slap and the way that I use that technique is using my hand almost straight parallel with the neck. So my thumb could just rest and do the work. Some people have it here. That's harder for most people to do. I know it's harder for me to do in order to hit one string at the same, at, at one time. It's a little bit tougher for me to do that. So that technique may work for some people, it may not, but just check and see what works for you, what feels best for you. So I find that putting my thumb below the string or with my arm parallel to the neck, it's easier for me to anchor my wrist to hit the exact string. So, like I said, your technique may be terrible or may be off, right? But just fixing a little few things to your technique, just maybe changing your arm position, something like that. So all of those things mixed together or combined together will make a decent slap tone, fresh strings, EQ, technique, and then you can go from there. So those are a few things that'll get you started before you even go to play a slap bass line. I know you just want to go for it, but right before you play, consider these three things. And if you guys are interested in technique, there's a beginner's course and Bass Nation Academy. I'll put the link in the description. If you guys are interested in, you know, slap bass or not only that, but enhancing your bass playing to the next level. Uh, we have courses there about slap bass, um, just making sure you know everything you need to know about it. We have exercises to help you go to that next level of slap because I know you want to get and dig in like, you know, some victory. Yeah, that kind of stuff, that kind of crazy stuff. But you guys get the idea. If you're interested, I'll put the link in the description. Like I said, I'll be here somewhere on the screen. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. I would love for you guys to get notified. If you click that notification bell icon, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, but make sure it's clicked so you can get notified every single time we upload a video on the channel. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new, like I said, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.